food in Minecraft. There are many types of food in Minecraft, to be precise, there are 40 of them. They are essential to survival, as going without them eventually caused the player to starve. Starvation damage reach fire hearts in easy mode, half hard on a normal mode, but if you play on a hard or a hardcore mode, you can die. Of course, every food is different. Some will give you more hunger points, some will give you more saturation points, and some will give you effect like poisoning or regeneration. So I will divide the food into 5 different tiers from the worst to the best and I will show you where you can find each of them. In this tier there are foods that should be avoided even if you are starving because it wouldn't help you much. They can make your condition worse and if you play on a hard or hardcore mode they can kill you. We will start with the worst possible food, and that is a puff fish. In any case, do not eat this fish, because in addition to give you only a half food point and a 0.2 saturation point, which is really low, by consuming this food, you will get effect like hunger level 3 and nausea level 2 for 15 seconds, and a poison level 4 for an entire minute, which is a really bad effect. However, pufferfish is good for making potions, so you can get it by fishing, finding it in the ocean and killing it, and if you are lucky enough, you will get it from the drop of the guardians and elder guardians, spider eye. Although it will give you more food points and saturation points than pufferfish to be more precise, 1 food point and 3.2 saturation points, it will poison you for 4 seconds. You can get spider eye of course by killing spiders and cave spiders, but also you can get it by killing a witch. Poisonous Potato The name alone tells you that you will be poisoned by this food. But if you don't know, there is 60% chance that it will happen. If you are still unlucky enough to find yourself in those 40%, you will get a poison effect that will last for 4 seconds. However, it is really difficult to get poisonous potato and there is only 2% chance of getting it by harvesting potato crops. Although it is maybe easier to find it because you can find a poisonous potato in shipwreck chests. Rotten Flesh Perhaps the most common food that beginners eat. During the lack of experience, after the first night and the first fight against the zombies, on an empty stomach and without any food nearby, some players eat this food. Even though this food will give you the most food point in this tier, low saturation and 80% chance of hunger for 30 seconds will not do any good. This food can be obtained almost everywhere as it concerned as a garbage. From killing zombies, piglins, zombie villagers, husks, drowned and zombie horses to finding it in dungeons, igloo, woodland mansions, small underwater ruins, shipwrecks, desert and jungle pyramids, basically almost everywhere where you can find a chest. Raw chicken. This is the last food to give you a negative effect. To be clear, there is 30% chance getting a hunger for 30 seconds. Although the nutrition is not that bad, because of a negative effect, it must be a this tier. The only way how to get this food is by killing a chicken. Tropical fish. There is not much to say about this food. You can get it by fishing or killing this fish if you find them in oceans. It doesn't give you too much, so you're just looking for this fish to eat it 
Don't do it because it's a big waste of time. Dried kelp and potato. Both food will give you half food point and 0.6 saturation point. The only difference is that kelp is easier to find and dry it in an oven. Potato, however, can be found in villages, shipwrecks, and pillage outposts. Beetroot, the last food in this tier. The only complaint I have about this food is that you can only find it in villages. And that's why, due to not so rich nutrition value and difficult finding, beetroot must be in the last tier. This food tier does not have any negative effects on the players and it is quite easy to find, but that is the only good thing. Because it will not fill your stomach too much. Cookie. This is the only food that can be crafted in this tier. The recipe for making a cookie is two weed and one cocoa bean. You can also trade for a cookie with a journeyman level farmer villager for three emeralds. And you will get 18 cookies for it. Raw cod and raw salmon. These two species of fish have the same nutrition value. They are obtained in the same way. By killing them, killing polar bears, and the rare drop of the guardians and elder guardians. Sweet berries. This food can be found in all taiga biomes. It is collected by pressing the right click on their bush or if you destroy the same bush. It can also be found in taiga villages. The positive thing about this food is that it can be planted without the presence of water nearby and sweet berries grow really quick. Melon slice. Although they give you the same number of food points as the sweet berries, they will saturate your stomach three times more and as they give 1.2 saturation points. The downside of this food is that you can only get it if you destroy the melon block that can be found in some villages and in the jungle biome. Raw mutton. Although the meat is raw, there will be no negative effects, so feel free to eat it as it has the same nutrition value as a melon slice. The only way how to get it is to kill a sheep. Raw beef, raw pork chop and raw rabbit. These three meats are also the last in this tier. By getting these meats you will get it by killing the animals that will give you this drop. This tier includes the food that is in the middle of our list. It fits you well, but you are not saturated for long. The only food that you can get by destroying leaves. To be more precise, you need to destroy a dark oak or a oak leaves. You can also find it in a chest located in a villages and igloo. fruit. This is the only food that can be found on an overworld. You must travel to a dark world called the end. There you can find the plants called chorus plants which when destroyed you will get the strange fruit. Although it had the same nutrition value as the apple, the chorus fruit have a really strange effect and that is, if you eat this fruit, 
you can be teleported randomly, so be really careful. Carrot. You can find a carrot in the same way as a potato in a village farms. Unlike potatoes, you can bake carrots. Honey bottle. Although it gives you a lot of food points, this food is the last for saturation in this tier. But what makes it special is that honey bottle clean poison from the player. It can be crafted from a honey block and an empty glass bottle or collecting from a beehive or bee nest. Baked potato. It gives you 2.5 food points and 6 saturation points. It is a simple food that is obtained by cooking a potato in a furnace, smoker or campfire. Bread. The craft recipe for a bread is 3 wheat. You can find it in the dungeon, stronghold, village, mineshaft, and woodland mansions. You can also trade with a farm villager receiving a 6 for only one emerald, which is a really good deal. Cooked cod and cooked rabbit. Both food give you 2.5 food points and 6 saturation points. The difference is that cooked cod is obtained by cooking the cod and cooked rabbit by cooking a rabbit. Here is a really interesting fact that you maybe don't know about food. You can get any cooked meat from the animal that dropped that meat if you kill the animal with a flame. Pumpkin pie. This is the food with the most food points in this tier, but does not deserve the first place because saturation points are not that big, so you will get hungry really quick. It can be crafted with a pumpkin, an egg and a sugar. Beetroot soup and mushroom stew. There is not much to say here. Both need a bowl where you can place a food in. Only difference is that one is made of a six beetroot and the other need one of each mushroom. The objection of this food is cannot be stacked, so sometimes it can take up space. Cooked chicken. It gives as much as both soups, but it is on the first place in this tier because it can be stacked. You can get cooked chicken by cooking raw chicken, killing chicken with fire. Or trade with a novice level batch villager. These foods give you the most food points and saturation points. The reason why it is not on the first place is that you do not get any facts. Cooked mutton and cooked salmon. Food that is easy to get with a little cooking, you get a top quality food. The difference is, as with any meat for a mutton you need to kill a sheep and for a salmon you need to kill a salmon. You can also buy these foods from a butcher villager or fisherman. Cake. The only food that can be put on any block. The whole cake has 7 pieces, each given 1 food point and 0.4 saturation points, so when you multiply by 7, we get a number of 7 food points and 2.8 saturation points. Not bad, but to make a cake you need a lot, a lot of ingredients. 3 buckets of milk, 3 wheat, 
two sugar and one egg. You can also buy a cake from an expert level farmer villager. Rabbits too. The food that give the most in this tier. But again, it cannot be stacked and a lot of ingredients are needed, so it is not on the first place. It is crafted with a bowl, carrot, baked potato, any type of mushroom and cooked rabbit. Also, a novice level butcher villager will sell you it for one emerald, so maybe best option will be to buy this. Cook it pork chop and steak. My personally favorite fruit in Minecraft since it is easy to get. It gives you a lot and can be stacked. Since pigs and cows are really easy to find, I don't need to tell you how to get it. The only thing you may not know is that the butcher will sell you for one emerald when he reach a higher level. And finally, we reach the best tier for foods. Their nutrition value is not higher than the last tier, but it is definitely food that will help you in various situations, not only in hunger. Golden Carrot Although, this is the only food that does not give you any effect in this tier, you must admit that it is not a common food. It can be crafted with a carrot and 8 gold nuggets. Also, you can receive a 3 golden carrots for 3 emeralds at the master level trade from a farmer villager. Maybe a little expensive, so I'd rather craft it. Golden Apple Not too much nutrition value, but the effect, in addition to regeneration 2, which lasts 5 seconds, you also get 2 extra hearts for 2 minutes. It can be crafted from an apple and 8 gold ingots. Also, you can find this food in desert pyramid, dungeons, mineshaft, woodland mansions, igloos and a big underwater ruins. Enchanted Golden Apple. It can be crafted, but it can be found at the same places as the Golden Apple. The difference is of course in effects, since regeneration takes 20 seconds instead of 5, instead of 2 extra hearts you get 8, and you get two extra effects like persistence and fire resistance for the entire five minutes. Suspicious 2 Maybe a lot of you won't agree with me, as a Suspicious 2 can also give you a negative effect, but the difference is in ingredients. Because Suspicious 2 is crafted from a bowl, red mushroom, brown mushroom and any type of flower. That's the point. Because, if you use the right flowers, you can get the phenomenal results. So let's look at the list of flowers and their effects. So, as you can see, if you use blue ochre or dandelion to saturate you, your points will be phenomenal because that too will give you 6.5 food points and amazing 21.2 saturation points. I want to thank everybody who watched this video till end. If you like this type of videos, please leave a comment below and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. See you next time. Peace.